think I have a message from Charles Trippy. If you watched one of his vlogs yesterday, he was giving away like some 20 of those toy thingies he got. And if he said, I want what it, the squeezable whatever the thing is, he'll send you one. And usually I never win any of these bullshit things but it looks like I won so apparently I gotta give my address I don't know how to really explain what the item is that I won but he was giving away charge to PC Tipsy was giving away twenty of these plushy ball animal things that it can either be for your dog or for whatever. It was a squeeze thing and it could be like a stress ball. Could be with air. But he had like twenty different animals. He all he said was on my Twitter if you want one just say I want or on his YouTube say I want a squeezable I think they're called squeezables. Yeah, it was called squeezables. And our Twitter name. I didn't think I would win, and if I did win, I was like, I'll just enter in and see what happens. Usually when I enter contests on YouTube with popular YouTubers that I trust won't give out my address, make sure when you enter these contests, you trust the YouTuber and you know for sure he won't give out your address. And it has to be a popular one that knows better. Don't do any other small YouTubers that might give out your address. Um, I know he won't because he's shown ad when he unboxes, uh, does mail time with fans, envelopes and stuff. He always covers up the addresses. But uh, anyways, it's just funny how I actually won and... I don't know what he's, what animal he's gonna send me, but when it comes, I will get, I will make an unboxing video of it to show you what I got. Too bad it couldn't be like a T-shirt, or he couldn't send a T-shirt or like a signed autograph or something to go with, because I never win anything, and that would have been cool to get. I was originally saying, I told him, I said. Well, if you have a cow or dog, then that'd be cool because I could give that to my cousin's daughter on my mom's side of the family. But then I thought about it, thought about it. Now that I actually won, I'm like, maybe I'll keep it as a, as a. Oh my gosh, I got this from Charles Trippy, a famous YouTuber. I don't know. I kind of wanna. Ask him if he would sign it with the Sharpie, but then it's like, nah, that's asking too much. I'll just let him send it to me and I'll put it somewhere in my room and I don't know. But I'm so excited because usually I don't win. I mean, I did win a free t-shirt from Mary Doodle way back when, when she was a thing from Maker Studios because of a live stream that's not even around anymore all she said was first person that wrote the word or DM'd her the word poop and put it in a sentence or twitter her the word poop and sent it to her in a sentence usually I don't do stuff like that because that's just gross but I did it for her I said I'll poop all over you and she goes you won this t-shirt I had to pick a t-shirt I picked a dinosaur because of my nephew and then another time I won a t-shirt from people that don't even vlog anymore. They're not even together. Um, her name is Amy. I can't even remember their YouTube name. Because I wanted a t-shirt that says, fuck off, because at the end they always say fuck off. Or no, at the end they say piss off. And mom's like, no, 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 no. You're not going to buy... A stupid YouTuber shirt that's so stupid it doesn't make any sense. So I got pissed, and then when I won, 
all I had to do was make them a banner on their channel. If you know of Koi Rams, SMP Films, um, Live Each Day, if you know of him, and you know of Caters17, that he is to date, Caters17, then you would know who Amy is. And she gave me, she's like, you won, because I loved your banner idea that I m made for her. I made it from paint and photo bucket. So, even though you don't have the resources, you can still make an amazing banner. Anyways, I made it for them. They never used it, of course. But that wasn't the point. The point was a contest for a free shirt. Got a free shirt. Love it. I need. I should drag those out and start wearing them around the house and stuff, so you guys can see them in on me when I vlog and stuff. But anyways, it's just cool that I finally officially won something from Charles Trippy and Allie Wes. Well, she's Allie Trippy now, so I don't know why I keep calling her Wes, but it's Allie Trippy, and they're like one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. So it was cool that I finally could get something of theirs. Um, but, because uh, I can't do the Patreon stuff to get autographs and whatnot. Or go to VidCon or Playlist or anything like that because my mom just doesn't understand YouTube and the f fame of YouTube. Nothing. And I only sent one YouTuber name. What's up, Ricky? The six. What's up, Daily? The six. Chris Thompson, a letter one time. He liked my man time video, and he remembers who I am every time I go to his church room. And on his, oh, and when I sent him the thing, I put a sticker on there of a hundred dollars. He thought it was real and goes, "Oh man, why couldn't this be real?" And he vlogged it and everything. So it was really cool. I'm just really excited right now and I hope nobody like says something negative to it like upset me about it when I told all my friends about it online because that would really upset me but uh, anyways I'm gonna get going I'm just really ecstatic and excited to be watching or to be getting that what really oh and I'm really happy and excited that America Choppers is back on the air, but it really sucks what they, what some asshole did to the New York Yankees bike that Polly Junior and Polly Senior put together. With the autographs. Here is my unboxing or unbagging, I should say. It's a small ass bag of the plushie or the squeezable that I won from C from CTFC. AK Charles Trippy. I've already explained this in a video, but I won his contest. All I had to do was write on his YouTube channel, I want Squeeze a Mole, and my Twitter, and he would DM me if I want for my address. But it didn't come from here, from Florida. It came from California, because it says, which I can't show you my address, Beverly Hills Teddy Bear. Company. So I was like, whoa. So this is what I got. And it smells. So that's cool. And it does smell like bubblegum, like he says. So let's take it out. This is what it is. And it's really squeezable. And it's good stretch ball. And too bad we don't have smell of vision because it smells good. But it's so cute and adorable. And it smells so good. And here's the tag for it. In case you want to get one. You can watch one of his videos about it. It didn't... It says here's all the different kinds you can get. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. Twitter is I am Alien 88. I will have pictures of this uh, on there as well. So I got 
this cute one right here. And I'm not sure what name it says. This one just looks really ugly, this panda. It looks like it's going to thaw him. But that monkey's pretty cute. That's right there. There's a cute piggy. That would have been cute to have. I'm trying to see if there's any other cute ones that would be cute to have. Ladybug's alright, I guess. Too bad you don't have a cow, because that would have been cool for my niece or my cousin's daughter. But that's that tag, and there's this tag here. So, so I'm old. The back of it says the same thing. Bunches of little taggies, but yeah. Scented perfume is what it says. So that's cool. Anyways, that is so cool that I got this cute little thing. Tell me in the comments down below what you think. It's a contest that I didn't think I was going to win, but I won, and now I don't know what to do with this, but it's a good stress reliever. And it smells good. I love to keep going like this. And it does smell like bubblegum, like he said. He's letting his dogs play with the ones that he has. But, yeah, the company gave out 20 free ones, so he probably just gave us our addresses to the guy, and the guy's like, okay. But, uh, that's pretty cool. I just can't believe how small the bag is. But anyways, I'm Bunny Bunny. Uh, leave me alone and I'll talk to you later. I got some squeezing to do. Mm, 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 mm.